I won't just show you how to program a color sorting robot. I'll also explain how the program that allows it to learn how to classify bricks by color works. In other words, we're going to write a small piece of code that you might boastfully call artificial intelligence. To avoid missing another video of mine, please subscribe and activate the notification bell. To avoid missing another video of mine, please subscribe and activate the notification bell.
artificial intelligence or AI is intelligence shown by machines and it's such a broad subject that people sometimes abuse this term. In our case we are tackling a tiny bitty part of AI which is supervised learning. Supervised learning is a subcategory of machine learning and artificial intelligence. Usually a software is fed labeled datasets to train algorithms that classify data or predict outcomes accurately. In our case we will supervise and train the robot bird ourselves as we would do with a baby, with do's and don'ts. Every time you start the program the robot does not have a clue about where to put each colored brick. For each sorting attempt which at the beginning is random, we will tell it whether it did good or not. With our input, the software will learn which colored brick goes into the correct nest. Once the training is complete, the bird will be able to sort bricks by color on its own. Well, the robot will work at least until we don't turn off the program. At that point, well, everything that was learned will be lost and the brain will be erased completely. Wiped out. Turning off an AI is like killing a robot. Now, if you prefer printable Lego building instructions, you can download them from my website using the links down below. Here on the display, I don't know if it's clear to see or not, you have a representation of the knowledge base that means that the mind of the robot with the associations or not. Let's try training for yellow. The robot will first try to, uh, to put the, the, this brick in a random bin and then ask for, co for confirmation, yes or no, and I will say no. Okay, let's try again, yellow. Okay, right guess now, I can say yes. And here you will see there is a dot which is brighter, that means that the correct association has been made now. This color will be sorted correctly from now on, let's see. Okay, for the other colors now, let's try red. Hmm, wrong one, this is the green nest. So, uh, no, let's try again. Of course, this, the red thing will not be put into the yellow nest, so it will uh, automatically discard the nests which are already associated with other colors. Mm, wrong one again. Mm. Let's try blue. Mm. Wrong one again. Blue. Okay, good guess, yes, you did it correctly. And, and you can see now you have two spots being okay, lit up. Right guess, yes. Okay, and now for green. Now green is automatically associated. You will see only one is left. So, okay, and from now on the bird is completely, of course, yes. The bird is completely trained, as you can see from this diagonal, which is completely lit up. And from now on, the bird acts as for the normal program. It knows how to sort by colors, which it didn't know in advance. Let's take a look at the program. So when the program starts, we initialize the brain of the robot, and more about that later, and we calibrate the robot so it starts from the known position. Then forever, we run this learning sorter my block, which is this one. But let's see the initialize part of the program. At the very beginning, we well, we enable, we, we set up the motors, we store into the positions list which, re, which angles correspond to the various next, and then we clear the brain. That is, we put all zeros into the, the table. Then we calibrate the robot to bring it to the uh, zero position. And then let's see how the learning sorter works. So we go to a starting point and we display uh, the, the brain that I called XP. 
it's a list. Here we turn off everything and then for each, uh, well, the, the, the list, the XP list is a 16 elements list, but it's like having four rows composed by four elements. So I lit up at 100% each element which contains one. I turn to 30% brightness each element that contains one, uh, minus one and I keep at 50% brightness the elements at zero. So that gives us an indication of what's inside the brain. Then after having displayed the experience we read the color. So we wait until there is a color which is not black or none, which means we dropped a, a brick into the into the ramp. Read the color, which is coded by a number here. You see, if color is blue, then color is zero. Otherwise, is one. Yellow is two, and red is three. And we need this color as an index for the brain table. And then we find an association. So we look inside the experience list here by iterating on all the elements if we find a positive association that means an element equal to one. If we do we set found to one and we pick the nest number and we set it. Otherwise we pick a random one from one to four and the robot will then pick and place at nest. That means we'll pick and play pick the brick and place it at nest and nest is represented by a number from one to four if the association was unknown we ask for the feedback to the user and we update experience so the feedback um, so we we blink on the display a yes or a no y or an and wait until the the, the the key is pressed and then we return the answer to the update experience my block so if the answer was correct we replace that item at coordinates determined by the color seen by the sensor and the nest picked for the association with one that means it was correct and then we uh, we set it the, the association to minus one that means wrong one for the other colors and if the answer was no we just set uh, the experience in that element that element of the table with minus one that means wrong association Later I added this other block that tries to associate uh, by exclusion that means that if I associate a color that means that all the others are already wrong so that speeds up the learning process of the robot and that's it basically. Well in case you just want to use the bird as a normal color sorter that means that you can just remove learning sorter and you drop the expert sorter so here is just a basic uh, color sorting robot that waits for the brick and depending on the color it picks the brick and places in the correct nest at once without the training stuff. But the cool thing is exploring AI so that's what it's all about. Well, if you like this video please subscribe using the button below so you don't miss the next. Stay young, keep playing. Ciao!